G'day guys, how are we going? Look, a couple of weeks ago, Tradesman Roof Racks ran a competition for you to win a roof rack to be installed on your full drive. And today, the lucky winner is coming in to have that roof rack installed. Now, I've got Josh here from Tradesman Roof Racks, and Josh, who have we got coming in, and what sort of a vehicle have they got? So our lucky winner today is Sean Gooden from Garfield. He has an Isuzu MUX. It's the base model that's not fitted with a factory rail, so it's a very difficult fitment. We have to find the factory points in the roof, dig them out, and fit the rack. However, it becomes a very strong fitment, as you'll see throughout the day today. He's also won an awning and a light bar, so he's a very lucky man. Unreal. We hope to see his wife shortly, and we'll get started. Right, eh? well, as soon as they arrive with that vehicle, you guys can start the install, we'll get into it. Absolutely. center punch to divot the roof where the hole is underneath. I'll explain why that is in a minute. So quickly punch it down. Again. Now, the reason I did that is because I'm using a 13mm drill bit. The reason I use a 13mm drill bit is under this roof skin is an 8mm thread. If I was to pilot hole drill this, there's a chance I could nick the thread, which means I'm in a lot of trouble. I have to retap the thread and so on. I use a big drill bit. Because I've divoted, put a divot in the roof, the drill bit doesn't warp on the skin, it stays in the spot and just opens up nicely above my thread without damaging the thread like this. So now I'm going to blow all this swarf out. It's important this swarf comes out because if it sits on the roof, it'll rust and then eventually cause the roof to, roof to rust. So all this swarf has to go, otherwise it's going to cause problems. So now that all our swarf's gone, one of the most common questions we get asked about roof racks is will my roof leak? Now, we've been making roof racks for 40 years this year, it's our anniversary. One of the most common things that people ask is why don't you use a gasket? The problem with gaskets is they can tend to perish over time, so we always use silicon. Silicon not only seals the hole, but acts as a barrier between the roof rack and your roof, so there's no friction in there. Also, silicon obviously doesn't split or perish. So what we do, fill the hole so the thread's tight, and then as a rule, I like to put 10 cents on top. That way it'll squish out under the bracket and protect the paint. It stops the water getting to the bare metal as well and causing rust. Okay, so now we're going to fit the lugs. The reason we do a separate lug to mounting bracket is so you can take the roof rack off and maintain the seal in the roof. If you don't want to take the roof rack off, it's a simple five bolts either side on this model and then you leave the brackets behind and you're not breaking the seal in the roof. Very important. If you keep doing that, eventually you'll have a soggy headline. So what we're doing now is putting the rail on the lugs. So this is our one piece mounting kit that strengthens the roof and carries some, gives a nice level surface for the rack to sit on. Now if you were to take your roof rack off once it's fitted, it's these bolts you'd be undoing that I'm putting in right now. Six of them on each side. You can only leave gaps in here so you can get your hand under the roof rack to not only wash your roof but also to pass a rope through here once it's fitted. If this is closed, it's extremely difficult to do that. It can be very frustrating. Make 
and we're just in the middle. Perfect there. Now I'm going to do up all the bolts under here and then finally I'll do up these bolts inside. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright Josh, well they should be very happy now with their new roof rack that's now been installed on top of their vehicle, so now they're all set to head away camping. Yep, exactly. As you can see, it was a fairly involved fitment, um, probably recommended for professional fitment. However, this rack is rated to 100 kilograms to carry on or off-road, um, so it should serve them well. So that's really great news, so if people want to find out Josh, how do they find out more about the range of Trajan roof racks? Best way is to either give us a call on 9722 or jump on the website, tradesmanroofracks.com.au. We can point you towards your local reseller or you can deal direct. Well, there you go, guys. There's all the information. If you want to find out more, check out the range from Trojan Roof Racks. And fair chance, I'll see you at the bush someday.